in regard to prayer, it is difficult to pray correctly. So true prayer in itself is quite a challenge. There are of course three types of prayer, adorative, supplicative and invocative prayer. And adorative prayer will not protect you. You are merely trying to align yourself with a certain higher power to create a connection between something which is more perfect than yourself and yourself. So this is very stimulating for your own self-development, but it's not a protective prayer. A supplicative prayer is more or less the standard prayer, where you put yourself under something, something else's guidance. And on one hand, it provides a very good protection against karmatic effects. The karma will be a lot lighter if you're in a way acting under orders rather than doing things on your own account. So a supplicative prayer will instruct you uh, what to do, uh, what not to do. And through this instruction you will tend to find a very good way, a very good route for you to achieve your goals, for you to be successful. So in that way it is a protection, but uh, just like if you're having to do a military mission, it is good if you have a good commander, if you have a good leadership or a competent sergeant uh, who's helping you, who's guiding you, but that doesn't remove all danger. So supplicative prayers can prevent you from getting into trouble, but they themselves do not shield you. So the last position is the invocative prayer. And with the invocative prayer you can indeed um, create a shield or uh, summon a guardian or something else which will provide protection. But also to be able to utter an invocative prayer you need to have a position of authority. You need to be a priest or a priestess. Um, so invocative prayer tends not to always work when you're trying to summon protection to yourself. The other problem is that many people tend to want to pray for things they want. Uh, so I want to be protected, I want to be healthy, I want to be rich, I want to be happy. Um, I don't want all my friends to be happy. Of course you do. And that's great. But uh, these kinds of desires have nothing to do with prayer. Prayer is all about aligning yourself with the deity, with the divine that you become a manifestation of the divine. So it is not about you wanting to be protected. It is about the divine wanting you to be protected. It is not about you wanting to be healthy. It is about the divine wanting you to be healthy. You are not the boss here. Even if you are invoking a power, even if you are in a way the manifestation, the, the bridge between worlds through which Things can enter only by your action, only by your will. The other power has to be willing to come, has to be willing to manifest itself. And if you start invoking things and doing things which do not have the full support of that power, ultimately you will lose your position. You will lose your position of authority. They're more or less lenient, so if you make a few mistakes, if you are a little bit troubled by your own fears, by your own desires. This is normal, you're only human, but ultimately it is frowned upon. And if you keep on misbehaving, ultimately their tolerance will run out. So praying for protection while it is not in a way granted to you, is not the right way to go about it. So you should first inform what is the desire, or what is the need, what is the bigger plan. Maybe you are just a decoy, a feint. You just serve to be trampled. Or to you should run away and distract people, get them to run after you. Uh, maybe you should attack, but you're not never meant to succeed. You're just meant to draw attention. Or These things should be realized before you start praying for protection. 
If you know what your role is supposed to be, then you know what you need to fulfill that role from the divine perspective. Then you know what should be granted to you and what will be granted to you. And that is the things you should pray for. You should not pray out of your fear or out of your desire. You should pray so that you will be in better alignment with the divine that you can help the divine to manifest itself better, that you can be that faint, that you can be that distraction, that you can be that victim, or that you can be that successful secret agent who sneaks in and ultimately strikes the winning blow. That can also be your role. But it is the divine which chooses your role, whether you're the hero or whether you're the patsy. And if you do not have that kind of surrender to the divine, if your ego is still too much in the way, then you will not be very successful as a priest or priestess. And as such, you will not be successful in invoking good protection for yourself. So, yes, true prayer can provide you with protection on lots of levels and a great amount of authority. But... You also have to accept that it may not be granted to you, even if you pray. And even if you do have a good relationship with the Divine, because it may not be in the best interest of the Divine to protect you. You're not that important. Okay, I hope this hasn't disheartened you from praying. Prayer is always good. It's always good to try to realign yourself to question, to ask, but also know what to expect from it. Know what are your limits and know whether your prayers are done in the right way or not. Okay, good luck.